Okay, so this is a quick review of the Mod Mic 5 by Antlion Audio. I own the Mod Mic 4, and after purchasing it, shortly after the Mod Mic 5 came out, so I reached out to the uh, the team at Antlion, and I basically asked if I could review the Mod Mic 5 because I was such a fan of the 4. So they went ahead and they actually sent me uh, my own Mod Mic 5 to go ahead and show off to you guys. So let's go ahead and see what came in the package. Okay, so here's what came in the box. We have a uh, headphone Y splitter, basically allows you to plug the two parts of the headphone in. We have um, a uh, USB audio adapter. I don't really know if this quite qualifies as a, a sound card, uh, but it is a USB sound adapter. I can guarantee you that by plugging in pretty much any microphone headset into the sound adapter, it will sound better than plugging it straight into your motherboard. And then we have the Mod Mic 5 which comes with the, uh, the switch for muting, comes with the cable management, uh, comes with the omnidirectional and unidirectional microphone as well. And we're gonna go ahead and give that a sound quality test and I'll show you more of what came inside the box. All right, so inside the box, it's pretty simple. It came with uh, some braided uh, cable management, which is a great upgrade over the Mod Mic 4. So with the Mod Mic 5, uh, I don't know if you've ever had braided cables, but it's that, I don't know if the camera can pick it up, it's that nylon meshy kind of stuff. Um, it actually unrolls and it wraps around, kind of like so, around your cables. There's quite a bit of it actually, it's kind of uh, twist tied together, more than enough for, for me, and honestly, I believe that's going to be more than enough for the actual cable of the Mod Mic 5. So it comes in a nice little case, kind of soft, uh, soft material there, inside the case is the Mod Mic 5. Right here is the the microphone with the mute switch. Here is the cables, and I believe it comes with a short and a long cable, as well as the instruction manual. And inside here, let me grab this. This right here, more cable management. These are little clips that clip onto the cable to kind of hold your headphone cable and your microphone cable together, along with the little uh, 3M sticky pads that you use to attach to your headset, as well as an alcohol prep pad for you to use to clean off your headset if it's not new. And then I'll go ahead and show you next what this looks like all put together. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at how I've got my setup done here. I'm actually using the Mod Mic 5 in the omnidirectional mode right now. I'm going to show you how that works here in just one second. But first, let's take a look at the cable management that comes with it. You can see, let's see if I can get close enough to the camera, the clasps that I showed you earlier, they clip onto both the larger headphone cable as well as the smaller Mod, Mod Mic 5 cable, and it kind of pairs them together. Now, I've sort of cheated here. I've used both the clasps that come with the Mod Mic 4 and the clasp that came with the Mod Mic 5 to give me, oh, I don't know, enough clasps to go all the way back behind my monitor and all the way up to my headset. Now, if I sit down here, I'm going to go ahead and show you what the, I'm, now I'm taking off the headset, by the way, so you're going to hear me a little bit differently, but it's uh, maybe going to show off a little bit of the ability of the omnidirectional. So here's my headset. I use the uh, Sennheiser. I love it because it is super comfortable and I just didn't have a microphone for it. So. Basically, what the Mod Mic 5 does, using those 3M stickers, it basically sticks right on to the headset. And with a pretty powerful magnet, it uses these little patented teeth technology to basically, I don't know if you can see that, snap right on. Now, I can basically hold up my headphones with this magnet. I don't want to drop them. But that's not gonna, that's not gonna fall. And then, uh, you can rotate it if you want to, to like up position, like if I didn't want to talk on my microphone, or if I didn't want it in my way, I can put it back down into position. And as you can see, I have the little clasps going pretty much all the way up to the earpieces. So there I have my super comfortable, awesome Sennheiser headset with a microphone. So now what I want to do is I want to test out the different... Uh, microphone uh, settings. So right now, like I've been saying, I've been doing this with the omnidirectional. Now I'm gonna flip the little switch. Let's show you what that looks like here. There's a little switch here right by 
the microphone, where you can switch from omnidirectional to unidirectional. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So now I'm speaking in the unidirectional or more of a noise canceling format. Basically what this does is it points the sound source only to my mouth so that sounds coming like a lawnmower or somebody outside the room or for example my wife speaking in the background on the phone wouldn't be as picked up as easily. So again this is the unidirectional and now I'm going to flip it back to the omnidirectional. So here's the difference. This is omnidirectional. You can kind of hear how it picks up a little bit more of that background ambient noise, maybe the, the refrigerator in the background, maybe a little bit of me shuffling around as I record this on my <laughs> somewhat janky setup. Uh, but basically, the mic has two options, and honestly, I like both of them. I think I like the fuller sound of the Omni, but I think the unidirectional is nice too. So just to kind of wrap things up a little bit, um, I just want to start off by saying at the close here that I am not an audio expert by any means. I'm not an audiophile. All I know is that I like a good sounding microphone. I like to be comfortable. Previously, my the headset I was using, the the uh, ear pads really hurt my ears. I would take my, my headphones off after a long gaming session and be in pain. So I, I switched out to the Sennheiser uh, 598s and I, I love them. They're comfortable, but they had no microphone. So the mod mic uh, 4 at the time really offered me a solution and now the mod mic 5 is even better because there are definitely times when I want that uh, unidirectional and omnidirectional switch whereas my mod mic 4 was stuck with just one of those two and I really like the inline mute option I feel like um, that's something I didn't necessarily highlight in the video but it's definitely present you can basically just flip a switch and mute yourself on or off and I like the flexibility that the mod mic provides I can stick it where I want on the headphones it's really, really light, um, and it's it's honestly one of the best microphones that I have used in a headset setting. Again, I don't do podcasts, and I really don't do YouTube videos all the time, but the sound quality is exactly where I need it, especially uh, when gaming. I'm a big gamer, so my friends, we use Discord, which is a voice chat software. Uh, works really well for us. They all say it sounds great, um, whether it's raiding in World of Warcraft or playing Battlefield 1. Um, sounds great in all the games, and it accomplishes everything that I need for somebody that just wants to have either great commentary or great voice chat while playing games. So, once again, thanks to Antline Audio for providing me with this so that I could give this review to you guys. And be sure to check my blog for a written review and more information on the Mod Mic 5. Thanks, everyone.